Lati daji wawari lize lò wawu. Wono pa wano ma asuni. Andro de wani. Ege a ma agbo asya yon diye. Ka wabere si analyze statement ti DSS. Be lu bogbo yi rotok pa. Lori baba wachi sonde igbo wo. Bogbo yi la ma jo para wachala yi. E lò fi disi lè. E lan fani a ti gbo oro. E yina aba wadasi. A wama bira wakwe. So DSS yi mok pe. Banditi wa, wang mok me boku aram wa, aishop wa, filani wa, wo declare wang pe wang wa, wang te, amon, bubo statement ti ati ro tok pa, bubo an tok pa lo ri ron yen, adyo ma shala ye, founa wala le, le nkon si, e jak bon yi diye si. Taban sokwe fulani, anon ogoni fulani, she joba ni koni fulani ni, abi fulani ton deron. You can see the lies that has been cooked by the DSS after killing two Yorubas. E ma anonti yo, ni iba ti sokwe, e nyon meji ni wokpa, anon mewa, owa lo wo DSS. Ti, wo ti release the statements. Hahaha. 
I say good evening to the late night broadcast. It's coming up to 2344 right here from the southwest of Yoruba land where we are reporting from this evening. If you believe the DSS, that means you have believed the same lies that have been cooked for the last 60 years of this contraction you call the Nigerian system or the last hundred years of the Fulani amalgamation that we know was cooked with the international community. And that is part of the lies. Fela mother was killed. Uh, Delegiwa was killed. Tolulokwe Arotile was killed. Chief Sunday Igowo escaped. Not because he was better, not because he was stronger. It was the God that created him and the God that saved him. But two Yorubas, Yoruba made him walk back. One now one thing one new, but for one name. If you have him, I'll be Bubu Allah Lane, you pay. Belu Bobo, you want his DSS, if he showed me, I want a new boy. Kill the letter, I want a boy, Kafi Paddy SS. Shall you pay or more do I be loud or more Yoruba? A Yamaba, I see a yellow DS. Moriti Commissioner for Police ni Lagos oni rally oni shele e lo so fun pada pe an bo leko ni jo Saturday bi ta e bi awala ni eko ni boya Commissioner of Police to leko ni boya san wo lu loko leko ni e lo so fun se pe ni jo Saturday la se edumare lawon to laye to lorun gbugbu ajo ma pade ni rally yen ni jo Saturday lojo ta Tigbo gbo e ba kuku fe daru bi a ko bere ni saturday bi a to ba fe je peaceful ko je ka se ni peaceful bo pe a ni wa ni jo saturday yen e lo so fun won se pe an bo ni saturday amo e je e ti ka e ti ri pe dss owo bi oru bi oru awon a se bi awon a se bi lati idaji ti won ti wa se jamba ti won pa omo yoruba meji ti won ba so fun yin pe ko n se pe won fi ibon won fi pa omo yoruba yen ni Koda inti a sofun yi o ni pe wo pa ikonu won it was a cold blooded mother gbogbo eje te ri ni le yen eje mo yoruba kan ni kolon ku te won sa fe fe re awon fi wakati an fi asiko yi a fi nbere lowo gbogbo awon ka bi esi wa se be se ma wo lele ti e ni dasi e se tori pe o je baba wa chief sunday gbowo se o digba ti won ba pa chief sunday gbowo bo se pa mk wa biola hello mi oran ti mo pe won ma pa chief mk wa biola abi be ko abi bo se pa delegiwa abi bo se pa bola ige abi bo se pa funso williams awon mo yoruba ni yen o abi bo se pa tolulopo arotile fulani na ni o The same way that was almost going to kill Imazi Inam the Kanu while he was able to escape out of his house. Almost the same way they wanted to kill Chief Sunday Bowo. He was a target and that target was to kill him and bring back his dead body. But we give thanks that he was not killed, he's safe and sound. Whenever we are saying that two people were killed, let us continue to pray for the family that they left behind. They have children, they have wives, they have mothers, they have fathers, they have uncles, they have sisters. And they say DSS came into the house, killed two. They say they were just part of the, uh, the bodyguard that uh, exchanged fire with them, and then they killed them. So, see, you know, ti bon wa lowo mi emi na ni yin bo fun o wa ni pe kan na awon pere ni won yin bo fun lowo awon de ri yan meji pa abi be ko eri gbogbo ro to gba kale gbogbo e a ma analyze la le e oni ka ye compare igbowo pelu mko omo yoruba na ni won it does not matter how you look at it Late Chief M.K. Wabiola was a Yoruba man. Is fault, good or bad, 
Hugley, it was a Yoruba man that never got to become the president that we could have got in 1993. But now that we are now saying, let us divide, let us disintegrate, let us come out of Nigeria on a peaceful path of gold. But the Fulani and the Nigerian government have now decided to label Chief Sunday Bowo as somebody that they want questioning. Yes, we know Sheikh Gumi was able to meet with the RPG, AK-47, with the bandit, not once, not twice. I'm not sure the DSS had any time to go after them. Saturday, security Two Yorubas were killed in that house yesterday morning. May their soul rest in peace. Let us meet at Ojota at 9 o'clock on Saturday morning. Nigma ti won ma so pe awon ko awon kan e won so yin ni bon won na we were able to see AK47 we saw pump rifle and we saw the you know the charms but they never talked about the millions of naira that was taken away from the house. They never talked about the pound sterling that was taken away from the house. They never talked about the dollars that was taken away from the house. They never talked about the euro that was taken out of the house. Do you know that hundreds of jewelries belonging to Chief Sunday Bowo has now been moved, maybe divided by the DSS, maybe they've started giving their wives and their girlfriends, and that was never displayed. Because all I saw was, they said, uh, we saw, uh, you know, the domination of one, one dollar. Hey, DSS, are you serious? You came into a house that is not just an ordinary house. That is a house that have multiple, you know, possession belonging to Chief Sunday Bowo. All that was not displayed. That means DSS was not just coming down to kill him. They also came down as an armed robber. When you look at all the parastatals in the country, you would definitely understand that every parastata in this country belongs to the Fulani and the Aousa. It does not matter your intelligence, it does not matter how educated you are, it does not matter your PhD. Those controlling Nigeria are the Aousa Fulani and they are not ready to leave Nigeria. But we are saying as Yoruba people on this movement, we are not interested in Nigeria. They can write so many statements, they can label anyone, but we will not back down and we are saying to every sons and daughters of Yoruba tonight that you must now wake up and start thinking that what we are facing is not just Chief Sunday Bowo, it's a target to every Yoruba that Chief Sunday Bowo should now fade away and that means the movement will stop completely. That is not going to happen. All I can say is two Yoruba were killed, Chief Sunday Bowo was the target. The target was to kill him and bring back his dead body. But they were not able to find him, but they took away one of his lovely cats, thinking he has become a cat, and they took the dead body of the cat away. <laughs> Lati last year, in Tombo, lati 20 years ago, 
All these has been planned. It is not just now. They want to shut down Chief Sunday Bowo. They want to make sure that he doesn't say anything again. They want to gag him. They want to make sure that he doesn't come out in anywhere, wherever he is. And they don't want him to continue with the Yoruba movement. And that is why the DSS have released multiple allegations against him. All the false allegations that you have been reading from the paper just about some few hours when it was released. We will say all that allegation should have been labeled to the terrorists that have killed so many Nigerians across the length and breadth of this country. I'm going to quickly say our anthem and then I will allow you to start the conversation. Or maybe I should read part of that statement and then maybe we can start debating it. Any gongo move a jacket sorrow. It's a repay. E mi akoko gbo ti yin ke mi to wa se analysis ti mi ba se ma pere la le ni yen i will give you the opportunity to call into the show but please don't call yet until i play the anthem of the yoruba nation once again a very good evening to the late night broadcast 1st of july 2021 talk about Nigeria we can now confirm that you don't even have chief security officer in a state the governor of the state was not even aware that the Fulani were able to send down DSS all the way from Abuja to attack its resident of a particular state where you say you have a governor or maybe the governor was brief and decided to take his eyes off why now is the question we should ask ourselves. Yesterday, which is almost still about three minutes away before we go into the 2nd of July, 72 hours before the mega rally, DSS were also planning while we were planning. DSS were also preparing in conjunction with their criminal element of the military. And part of probably maybe some of their um, politicians that knew that Chief Sunday Igbowo would be arriving on Saturday with all his followers and Ilanomo Odua, Professor Banji Akintoye for the mega rally that has been planned ahead for Lagos State. But somebody was not happy. Somebody was not pleased. Somebody was preparing a plan B while we were preparing for plan A for the rally. And what was the plan B? They knew that no one would stop Chief Sunday Igbowo from attending that peaceful rally that we have done in every state without any hiccup. But yesterday, just about two minutes before midnight, somebody said to the DSS, Make your way down to Ibadan. The target is Chief Sunday Igbowo and that body 
must be brought back to Abuja. But that mission failed because we have a serving God. Shinima Dupe, Shinima Yinyo, I. <laughs> you can finish it up for me. The target was Chief Sunday Guru. The target was to kill him before the Lagos Mega Rally and bring back his dead body. They came heavily. They came well prepared. Boom, boom, kwa pata pata ni wafi wa. They were well prepared because they came with different gadgets. They came with things that you never expect the Nigerian to have to save Nigerians that were kidnapped in the forest, in the bushes by the Fulani terrorists. They were more ready to kill someone that believed that he would rather prefer to be known as a Yoruba man than being a Nigerian today. He was the target. Take him out and the whole rally will flop. Take him out and that rally will no longer hold and that means we will continue as if nothing has happened. And they came 72 hours before the mega rally. And if you have read the statement that was released by the DSS, you would know that the DSS have actually prepared that two ways. We kill Chief Sunday Bowo, we kill him, or we label him as a criminal. But we have criminal moving across Nigeria, invading the military barracks, killing many Nigerians on a daily basis that Nigerians can no longer travel from one end of the country to the other side, from one state to the other. We have criminals, terrorists, now operating fully on the ground territory of Nigeria. They are fully operating. One operates the Nigeria without the Nigerian government thinking of how to resolve the problem. Nigeria is the third global terrorism country in the world. Number three, just below Afghanistan and Iraq. We are number three. Global terrorism index. You can check that on Google. This is not something that we are making up. So, Bugwe Yomo Yoruba, she no, she ba she ma wo, no le le. Ti wo di pe, DSS, na wa se pe, a wo ma le be li, Chief Sunday Igbo wo, a wo ma me wa, she wa lo wo DSS, ni si. And they are getting ready to make sure, not just to torture them, but to extract as much of what they want to get from them. DSS statement have contradicted themselves because if truly DSS was functioning in this particular part of this country, DSS should be going after all the terrorists terrorizing Nigerians day in, day out. But Emma Rotti, that two people were killed, pool of blood, right inside that resident but DSS said oh they were attacking them and then we attacked them and we killed two of them so if they were able to get all the guns that we know is all lies because DSS would not even have the say to be releasing the statement it would have been a war zone inside that building in terms of Kola Mama so, because there will have been more life that will have been lost at that resident. So DSS think that, you know, by coming into a kind of resident like that, and then they can confirm, according to their statement, that they have multiple guns, you know, AK-47 pump rifle that was found in the house, and those rifles 
were not used to attack back the DSS. <laughs> you can see that they think that we are still living in the dark age like them. But we know the target. The target was to take everyone involved in this agitation. And that is why part of the individuals that were also taken are part of the agitators as well. And so many individuals that are working for Chief Sunday Bowo. We have terrorists that have created mayhem, kidnapped children, killed innocent children that have got nothing to do with what is happening. But yet, DSS have never had that opportunity to stop that atrocity for the six years of the failure of this government that you call APC. But Awamo Yoruba, Awasukale, I've been waiting for that statement. The military denied it, but we know and I can confirm to every single one of you that the military were also involved in the mission that took place yesterday at that resident. It was not just the DSS. The DSS had, and I can now officially confirm that they came from the uh, the, uh, the do uh, the, the the military barracks at uh, where's not that for many women here, please. I mentioned it this morning. I can now officially confirm that the military that came to invade the house were sent from the barracks, Odogbo barracks, right in Ojo. Our military Tonawa to to tell the DSS and the movement of the DSS came. A day before, so that means they were already in Ibadan. It's not like they traveled all the way through overnight, they were already in Ibadan and they had multiple vehicles that came with them as well. Yes, Odogo Barracks in Ibadan. But why the attack to Chief Sonic Bowo just 72 hours before the rally? They block off the main road linking to Soka. So that means the whole road was unable to be accessible because they knew the mission that many Yorubas might want to make their way to Chief Sunday Bowo's house, but they blocked it off. So you would have probably got stuck in the traffic at the early hours, even though people wanted to make their way down, but they were stuck in the traffic for those that were driving down. Probably one of our men or uh, reporter that had a motorbike was almost killed as well when it was spotted. Once again, a very good morning and welcome to the broadcast. Let me just show you the pool of blood. We're not taking calls here, please do not call. These are evidence of the cartridge in their hundreds, thousands fired into the house, regardless of whoever was there. Anyone people go and listen, play, Nigma to DSSC, what? Nioru, what was the mission of the DSS at the middle of the night? It was not just to come and deliver a letter that we need you at the station. It was to they wanted to kill Chief Sunday Igbowo, Warfare Party Sunday Igbowoni. That was what they wanted to do. Because when you look at the same bullets or the cartridge rather, this was the same cartridge that was used similar to Lekki massacre last year. Even though they denied it, but now we know more than 100 innocent Nigerians were killed right at Lekito Gate last year. But the Nigerian government denied it, Sonwolu denied it, every single one of them denied it, the military denied it, we were never there, we were there, we never fired. And now we know that more than 100 innocent lives, parents crying, they don't even know where the bodies are. The two Yoruba that was killed at Chief Sunday Bowo's house. We do not even know where the body are. A new one in our DSS. Let me first ask this to the DSS. You have confirmed that two people died. 
Can you give us the dead body now so that we can do a proper pathology on that dead body to find out the main cause and the reason why they were, you know, the, you know, the, you know, the reason, be, uh, you know, the, the cause of the death. If these people that you say were firing back according to your statement, why did you took the bodies away? That is the first question I'm asking the DSS this evening. Why not leave the body? Since you have killed them, you don't need to take the body. Oh, what have you taken the body to? I hope you have not dug a, 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 a kind of shallow grave and just buried them because the family needs that body. I need the body. We need the body as quickly as possible. That body must be returned back to Ibadan where you took that action. Let's forget about all other cases now that you, you know, the accusation that you put out according to your statement to Chisonde Kowo and all those documents and everything. But I am now asking that why did you not also present to us the dead body for us to see? Why did you put the body? Where is the body? Was the body taken back to Abuja? Can everybody ask the DSS? Was the body of the two Yoruba that were killed? Have that body now also traveled with the innocent Yorubas that were found living inside the resident of Chisonde Bowu that took off to Ibadan? From Ibadan to Abuja? She Kokuloni, or the body is right inside the Odogbo barracks. Or the body has been dumped in the sea, or the body has been buried. Kill every okushe, a son, tear for okushe, a fair monte for okushe. We want to know what you've done with the bodies that you took away. And like I said, one of them was murdered at the cold blood. Walk back, it was not shot. And as you know, we are Yorubas. Nima Toripe, a bon wrong. What she done back from Tofi Huni? In the Shalai for Hidada Lara, I want to walk back. Nilu Layen, Nima Toripe, Ibon Huron. Now you say they were firing back, but you were the one firing, and there was no response back from the house. All the bullets that were found in the house, according to the DSS, how come those bullets were not used against the DSS? If we have that tones of bullet, when I need bullet to call in Ule, kilo de ti awa lua wo bullet here to shoot back to the DSS. Oh, so that means when they came to attack us, we were just folding our hands. If we were not folding our hands, we should have attacked back as well. Yes, you mean butchered. Yeah, that's what I want to use, you know. Sorry to my <laughs> oh you born on English. English is a big problem. It was butchered. Oh, you don't even want to know. That is why they took the body away. Because if we show you the dead body, some of you would have gone cuckoo tonight from the way it was killed. The reason why you saw the pool of blood in that room, and I saw somebody saying, oh, you know, I have told you, that was the guest room, living room. Chief have his main living room, and he has the guest room, and that guest room is where he entertained all his guests that comes to the house, not the main in the living room. But what? Because I've been trying to be calm since the early hours of the morning does not mean I am stupid. And DSS could not show us those pictures because they know those pictures. If every Nigerian sees the picture, there will be question mark that how did this person die? But you know what I mean. But they were quick to now label our own freedom fighter as somebody to report to the nearest police station. When we have Boko Haram, we have terrorists, <laughs> the people that killed, you, you have almost forgotten. I'll remind you again. Let's first play this video. Let's play this video. <laughs> I'm a 
That is pool of blood. Ej, Lara Omo e dae niyon. Bite mi, bite ye. Ti o shi wala ye, o ni ya, o ni baba, o ni a omo. O wuni di ese se pa. Si nou li baba wa ti sonde gbo wo. Wo pa, wo tu wa gbe oku yen lo. Wo o soni pa oku. Wo soni pa kwi do to, a wong, a wong, a wong pa yon meji. Bo wo o sobo se pa fo yi. A wa fe wa mo, e se fi oku yen si le fa wa. Ka wa li wa se toro investigation ti wa li lori. Ki le gbe oku yen lo fun. Te ba mo bo se pa ni. Yen ti mo soy. Ama, ama, ama do yi ju. Bisen so lo. Let's watch that video a little bit more. Shengbo, walk by and win yon. What's he won walk? If you do not understand that Yoruba, the, the, the person speaking behind this video says the person was killed and they had to drag the body. The body was not even respected as a Yoruba man. After the body was killed, they drag the dead body. Walk, walk, we lo. Just the same way Telegiwa was killed. Just the same way Tolulok Barotile was killed. Just the same way so many prominent Yorubas have been killed before. And somebody thinks that we are making this up. At least DSS have confirmed that there were two dead bodies in the house. But those bodies, we don't have them. So I am asking every Yoruba lawyer this evening or this morning, this good evening, wherever you are around the world, we ask the question, where have they kept the dead body? We can, we can, we can talk about the other things they say they found in the house. We can talk about every other thing they've labeled about Chief Sunday Boo. But I am asking the DSS to provide us the bodies that were taken away. Or is that also part of the evidence that they wanted to take away? So now, talk about Emi bere lo wa won gbogbo eyin te wo wa ni asale yi ni aro yi se to ba pa eyan se won tun lati gbe oku yen lo ni to ba pa e de niyan se won tun lati gbe oku yen lo i am asking every one of you we are live on youtube instagram and facebook millions of you have already been watching following the you know the development but i am now asking that the body where is the body at least kale gbe oku pada fa won Mama, we, Emma be no mama wow, Emma be no baba wow, eh, Bashiri no ni yo, what you pa? Let's start taking the calls so that I slow down the. Well, if you have not read the statement, I will advise you to read it, but we'll come back to that again. Please, when you call, mute the background. The number to call is plus four four seven five nine, any suru, plus four four seven five. Nine four zero five zero nine seven nine. I want to get your view on that statement from the DSS. Hello, caller. Hello, good evening. A very good evening and welcome to the program. Uh, I mean, I mean, I'm, a, I'm from uh, Delta State. I'm, I'm an Igbo boy. Can you speak up a little bit? It doesn't matter. We're all human beings. Whether you are Igbo, you're Roba, Middle Belt, we are human beings. So it won't make any difference. Okay. And you have the right to participate in the program. I just want to try, sir. Yeah. First, so you back, so I really understand. It doesn't matter. Go ahead. Yeah. I Baba, I didn't know. 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 I but if Baba is the greatest Yoruba man on earth, I'm telling you, mm. I am not a Yoruba boy, I'm from Delta State. Okay. But I'm just telling you the truth. Mm. Baba is the greatest Yoruba person on earth. I don't think I'm not sorry. Because I'm not sorry. 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 i am not sorry i am all right. All right. Okay, that's that's fine. And uh, your point has been noted. Uh, you know, I'll give another thirty seconds. It's going to be every two minutes. I'd have to take it off so that we get as many calls, and the line is going to be busy. So you have another thirty seconds. Okay. So what I want to say now is that 
if uh, if this thing can be, I just want to react to the issue of PSS. People should not be worried. Nigerians know the truth. Okay. This one that they are parading on. Nigeria, the Yoruba people know that PSS are like, and we Nigerians are wiser than not this one that okay. I say. All right. Nigeria, Nigerians are very wise now. Nigeria, right. very wise. Thank you very much. And that is a very brilliant one. Uh, like I said, every opinion and view is from individual, and we must respect that. And that is why, you know, we are different from the other mainstream media that tell you lies in this shit old country you call Nigeria. Hello, good evening, caller. Uh, or good morning, rather, and welcome to the program. Hello? Hello? Okay. Um, we might have to take somebody else uh, because the line is going to get extremely busy, I can tell you, uh, and it will jam packed at some point as well. Uh, let's go straight. Hello, good evening, caller, or good morning. Hello? I've picked the call, but I'm not sure. Okay, uh, you can imagine. When I say the line is open, it gets very busy. Eh, but in any money, fair la le yet jo. The bad thing we were a mute to the background, a mute to the background. They just to real long. So good afternoon. Eh, cock up. Eh, mute. Eh, mute. Mute. Good afternoon. Mute the background, please, ma. Please, I'm begging you. Yes, I have moved from. I have moved from there. Completely. Okay, my brother. Yeah. Um, I I say in that um. The DSS, yeah. everybody has known that they are liars, they are telling lies. So whatever they, they, they can say, people, we are Yoruba or whatever, who mm. are always come to the platform and say, oh, leave Yorubas now, focus on Biafra. Leave Biafra, focus on Yorubas. They don't know what is going on because these people are going for everybody. <laughs> if they don't come to you now, it does not mean that they will not come tomorrow. That is what our people has to know that we must be together to do this fight. That is the point I'm making. I don't know how uh, everybody will come to Simon and say, oh, leave the Yorubas, focus on Nigeria, uh, on Biafra. But, uh, I'm seeing on the right now, right now, you are, you are, people are asking you, oh, why, why, why bring in this person, this person, forget about this people. These people are for all of us. Hmm. They must know that. That is what I want to say, my brother. Okay. And uh, I'm saying again that we must not allow these people to intimidate us hmm. they want uh, the rally to stop and that is why they do all these kind of things okay i found this something for you now they said they recovered ak-47 hmm. hmm. i've, I've seen I've, I've seen it i was just laughing i said if, if we have that yes, we could have used that to, we could have used yes. that to kill so many dss and they would have taken their bodies back as well but nobody was killed yes. but we had two yoruba people that were killed with the dss bullet but one of them mm -hmm. was butchered to death, yes. cold-blooded. You see, so, so now they have concord all the lies and, and bring up all the guns and whatever they say. That is mm -hmm. what they recover from yeah. Sunday Goyo's house. Yeah. You see, that is how they, what they're doing to the uh, IPOB and ESN. You will see everybody, you see how these people are lying. So mm. how can we be in one country with this kind of people? Yeah. Eh? And some of us are still dancing for one Nigeria. We want to election. Hmm. People, are we, are we okay? I'm asking. My brother, good night. All right. Thank you very much, uh, you know, my Biafra sister there. Uh, let's go straight to the next caller. Uh, once again, the number to call, plus 4475 Hello, good morning, caller. Hello, Koike. All right, you got to speak up a little bit. It's too low for the voice to come out, and we have yes. placed. Good Can morning. You hear me now? Okay, Is... let me take off my... Thank you. Yes. Um, it's very, very sad that a government would invade the home of a private citizen and commit such atrocities. I mean, that is totally unacceptable anywhere in the world and they had to come out to even say this <laughs> it's i mean it's it's just unnecessary i want to parade me they are just on even looking at their faces you know that those people are just ordinary civilians mm. and i think this is the right time like you said lawyers should stand up Lawyers should stand up. This was the same thing they did to him at the canal, and that was the reason why that guy left and went on exile. Mm. Honestly, I feel so bad and I feel terrified. I am not happy with it. I know the situation, 
my defense now and I pray that God will be with you, God will be with you Sunday, will my duty Amen. and this is totally Amen. condemnable. I condemn this act by the government. It's mm. just uncalled for. It's mm. not necessary. All right. Thank thank you very much. Uh you sure. know, let's go straight. Uh plus four four seven five nine four zero five zero nine seven nine. The number has also been pinned. Uh, please, uh, we're also going to pin it on our, uh, you know, the line is going to get very busy, I can tell you that, but I will take as many calls, uh, you know, during the course of this program until I get extremely tired before going to bed. Hello, good morning, caller. Yeah, good morning, sir. You're welcome. Hey, hello, Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, let's take uh, you know more calls. Uh, you know, I'll give just two minutes, and after two minutes, uh, I will have to take somebody else as well. So let's uh, go for another caller. Uh, hello, good morning, caller. Okay. Uh, sometimes the calls could get a bit mixed up, um, especially when the line get very very busy, like uh, you know, sometime like this. Hello, good morning. Okay, it's not picking yet. Hello, hello, caller. I can uh, say to it was live. I go ahead. Ah, hmm. in fact, I'm going to share the link. 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 Two more more one hour, one hour, one hour, one hour, one Plus four four seven okay. nine four zero five zero nine seven nine. Uh, one only stockpile of uh, weapon, uh, all that in the house. Whereas Boko Haram has RPG, okay. and they were able to use that to take down 
one of the aircraft okay. of the Nigerian uh, Air Force or whatever they call themselves. Air Force. Yeah. Exactly. I was aware. Only Kininli. She think about one thing only as in you thought you look for in your cocony. Hmm. Question you to me. She thought you look for anybody. Be off again. You buy no. It was okay. Only it was a lot bad. She be talking about my only. She be such warrants. The mamua. Mm. I think so, 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 so my dear, we will pay. Also, also my. And not to pay in February. The same operation. He love his shit. Love his kidnap one. But what did nine? Now, to what is it? What is it? Jamba. In your home, dear, we do. I have another page. Uh, there's, a, there's a, uh, there's a imposter that is using my name. We try to take it down from Facebook. Uh, they can't do anything. Uh, uh, and also my old personal page, Olayo Bikoiki, has been taken down. So that is not me. I only have Koiki Media. Uh, the Koiki Odudua page will be back. We have about 15 days left on it from the band that we have. My Olayomi Koiki is not coming back, and I don't know what is going on. Uh, 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 Alright, uh, 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 again, the question we should ask ourselves tonight is what is the offense of Chief Sunday Ibo according to the DSS? Hello, caller. Welcome to the program. Hello, uh, hello, Mr. Yomi. Good evening, or good morning. Uh, uh, good evening, how are you doing today? Very good. Yeah, uh, I really appreciate it. In Koto, you shall let down in my home, it's a comfort king, so Molima, so you, you can, so you, but then... Oh, hold on, let me respond to that. If the page is, uh, hold on, if the page is like, what the person... Any story I like that don't quit me. Whoever is behind that imposter, what they've done is, you know, when I'm live like this, they will copy the link and put it there and give you the impression. So if those of you that are watching or going into that page that says Ola Yomiko Iki, you can bombard it with Facebook and say that page is a fraudulent page. And maybe we, we have done that, but Facebook refused to take it down. And I'm sure they might be working with the federal government or be working with Alaji Lai Mohammed. I'm sure you all know what I'm talking about. And yes, go ahead, uh, my caller. Sorry for that. Yeah, it, it, it's also uh, something uh, because uh, looking through the, the video and watching the uh, the live uh, of of version Sunday Bowles house, me personally, sincerely speaking, that today I felt my 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 commercial psychology everything here, and uh, if if truly if truly uh, all the weapons to all this people won't cut away in the chief Sunday go. Hmm. And if truly say truth, what really means is that uh, to me personally, maybe it is high time for the Odua oh, Yoruba nations and the to always tacitly do whatever planning. Because I was like, if the guys are having this kind of accommodation, the charms in the house, to go maybe, to go maybe, but think to me about one bill. So what it means is that you people need to re-strategize. Okay. If it is training, your training you don't need to make it on video because mm. these people have how to to their house will save an annihilation okay and it is all these uh you know, bad people. And I just give thanks to God that uh, they were unable to do anything to choose Sunday go away. Okay. All right. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, let's just take uh, more calls, uh, you know, so that we can get more people to call the program as well. Um, once again, you know, quite a lot of uh, calls been missed already. Bear with me. Uh, we would uh, speak to every single one of you. Emma, that's it, yeah. But Eba Emma, Shini, as quickly as possible. Hello, caller. Uh, go ahead. Hello, that's Googie. Yes, go ahead. 
Yeah, I just want to speak on the program. Yeah, you're live already. Go ahead with me. You're live already. Uh, okay. Um, you know, there are many things that are going on. But uh, the, the most important thing, okay, okay, okay. Oh, okay. And, and it's, and it's, okay, I think I know what they're saying. Yeah, that, that is my page, you know, where that is just our normal tradition. Okay, but you understand. Somebody is, uh, you know, watching something else on the broadcast from Koiki Media. Oh, yes, definitely that one is confirmed. Anything on Koiki Media is authentic, but I thought the person that uh, was speaking was saying uh, the imposter. So whatever you're watching on Koiki Media, oh, yes, we have a lot of our, we have a lot of our team that we have given a page row on Koiki Media, and they can broadcast, uh, you know, from there at any time. But they won't broadcast anything we haven't told them to do. But definitely, whatever they're broadcasting now is part of our tradition, and there's nothing wrong in that. So, just to clarify that, there might be no caller. Go ahead, please. Yeah, uh, okay, TV will say what I'm telling you is uh, if, if, if eventually our Yuba at the Superior Pay, you to meet to 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 I'm <laughs> The number is playing at the bottom. You will not stop. Hmm. So the way the, 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 the best, the best we start at the, uh, on time, and then it will, it will make them afraid to know that those people are really prepared. The number is playing already. Okay. okay. This this Baba from you can go. You show that he has something to do. I am more you buy more oil. You can't even let him move the two of forty-eight hours. Do so I mean, internet TV. But yeah, I want you want. But want to We need something. We need action right now. That's what I'm saying. Action right now. Okay. Alright. Uh, to finish, please, to finish. Uh, on the third July, I mean, uh, awareness something, right? Yeah. I want you to that. I want you to repeat the man who wants to be okay. That one will expose them. They prefer to come there to come to I mean at the home, at home and stop you once forever. Okay. 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 Hello. I'm going to background. It's be all loud. Oh, 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 uh, all right, uh, I'll have to take somebody else. Uh, Mabinu, know, uh, if you're calling, you need to also understand that um, there are so many people that want to call the program. And if you are get through, let's make use of it as quickly as possible uh, rather than not making advantage of it as well. Uh, like I said, the rally goes ahead as planned on Saturday. Uh, there's no changes with the rally. The rally goes ahead as planned. Uh, we have a, a caller. Uh, let's speak to the caller. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Ekabo Soreto, welcome to the program. Hello, good morning. Yes, I'm calling from France. It's me again. Okay. Edge of money observation. Okay. Number one, number one, Mr. Quick, I'm supposed to call you behind the show. But now it's good. 
e you know and that you are very 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 careful mm, okay. please okay because i know they are coming for you very soon okay okay they are coming for you along with them are showing right. then okay. number two was it in fact kcp will be showing you bring you to agitate your organization and people you know Oh yeah, well, well, I, I am not, I'm not, I'm not scared of that. I'm not worried about that. I'm not fighting the Nigerian government alone. I'm fighting the whole world because to break out of Nigeria, you are literally fighting the whole world. So it's not just about Nigeria. I've said that you know multiple times during my program. I'm fighting G70, G7, G42 because they, most of them doesn't want Nigeria to break, and we want Nigeria to break. So I know what I'm. I know, I know. You know, putting my face out is part of the. You know, it's part of it. Yeah. Yeah. Not to be injured okay. in case of any arrest right, or we, attack. That, that I will count the op right. operate. That's what I'm right. saying. This. I, I understand, yeah. All right. Okay. Then, number two, one who mm. 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 share it with one talk to you. Hmm. And I want to talk to you. 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 I want to talk Okay. Anything that you to Anything you Oh yes, legal strategy goes like that. You need to strategize. Yeah, then all right. Okay, okay. We will. All right, we will. That's better than. All right. All right. Thank you very much. I see you again. Amen. Amen. I see you again. Amen. Like Let me let me put this. Um, I don't know about somebody else. I have gone past to be scared, you know, uh, you know, being fearful. Uh, yes, I mean, yeah, we take precaution, we take advice, but what we are fighting for, the Yoruba nation that we are fighting for, is bigger than me. And why should we be scared? Of, I mean, we've actually been killed anyway. We saw two lives that were killed right inside the house yesterday. So what more would they do? Kill every one of us? And then the message will not continue? I want to walk by It doesn't stop anything. We still continue. You know, it's just gonna be the same thing. So we shouldn't put that fear of where ah hey kill my I understand everybody will get worried especially somebody like us that is out every day but that does not mean we won't do what we have to do we must continue it's called no retreat no surrender and I am determined it's as simple as that it doesn't matter you know how many things people say and all the different things I am determined and I'm still asking the question with the DSS where is the dead bodies of I want the color. She people watch my joke only. Thank you very much. I can also confirm the Afeni Ferry have responded. Uh, Iba Ghaniada and Nisuru Iba Ghaniada have also responded to the attack on Tishondi Bubu's house. Let's go straight to the next caller. Hello, good morning. Yeah, Ekale. Ekale. Yeah. Eh, you got a mini light to show, but you don't got to share the answer. Any light to take action? What's here? I'm going to take action. I'm going to take action. to take action. to take action. I'm going to take action. I'm going to take action. I'm to take action. to to take to and any last maduro, where maybe things will be well, things will be well. Let me show you why. Oh my, it take long, sir. What you hear? And in Kampuruku, oh mama, oh mama, she let me see me. All these people, they are not ready to take it easy with us. They are not ready to take it easy. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, you know, it's just that because we need to take as many calls, and uh, you know, we don't want to hold one person too long when we have thousands of people that want to join the conversation. Hello, caller. Hello. Hello, good morning. Yeah. Uh, I'm a I'm okay, Bubu. I'm terrible. 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 I'
Thank you very much, uh, so that we take more calls, uh, and that's why I, I, I need to make sure we kind of balance it uh, for those that are calling. And to bite you, Wale, Eshimarai, Wale, a low caller, plus three, five, three. And mute the background. Hello, go ahead. Hello. We can hear you, go ahead. Hello. Go ahead, sir. Yeah, I'm Spoiky. Um, I just want to say. Well done with the great job you're doing there. Thank you very much. Um, the uh, my own take home about this is just that um, I'm just so disappointed on um, Governor Shea Mackinley. That's number one, and number two, um, what happened in Son um, Chief Sunday Bobo's house is just um, on call for because um, these people are really they show that um, they have no dignity for any woman being. And they can do anything at any time. When the president of Nigeria, which is their own country, mentioned yeah. that we are going to treat them the language they understand, they understand. that shows yeah. Yeah, we are at war. Okay. So my belief of the, of, in all this is that I think Yoruba Nation and Igbo we just have to work together in order to conquer these people, and everybody will go on their own separate ways because. We, we should we should actually be glad that um the evils some of them wish if you back and come to the aid and let us work together so but what is happening here is that like we should know that we need to get ready for big war coming up because this thing is not going to go just um on notice and i've said it before on my own youtube played at um the un britain or america this is nigeria is just their port mm. so they wouldn't want anything to happen to nigeria at this moment okay but they have failed they have all failed because we have our destiny at our hand mm. we live in their country we mm. see how they are looking after their own children or their own citizens so we need our own life as well it's not that everybody wants to live abroad we want to go back to our own nations, Nigeria, Yoruba nation, Igbo nation. Everybody wants to live on their own way. If you go to Kano, you will see their cars. We are born to rule. Mm. Who are they? Mm. Are you getting me? Who are they? But, well, what I can say is that people back home should realize that we are abroad. We are just trying to do our best in order for them to realize that there's a war at their doorsteps. All right. That's what I can say, sir. Thank you very Have much. Uh, evening, Have a very uh, good evening as well. Thank you very much. Uh, let's continue with the call. Uh, hello, caller. All right. Can you meet the background? Hello. hello. Good morning. Yeah, yeah. 
Okay. Okay. Ah, to to 20 years old, 20 years ago. Ah, you know, 20 years ago. No, no, no. We've got that view. Let's go straight to the next caller. Hello, good morning, caller. Yeah, yeah, good morning, uh, Mr. Koiki. Good How morning. Very good. Good morning. Okay. I'm calling as an in law because okay. my son is Yoruba, married to Yoruba. Okay. So okay. I mean, so the rally I'm goes ahead as planned for Saturday. I, uh, I'm sorry to say this on air, but that's fine. I'm suspecting, I'm suspecting that. The reason why Bratai was sent to the Republic was to go and do some military manipulation there. Okay. Because I don't see a reason why those soldiers that came were speaking French. Which hmm. other French speaking people surround us, if not from Bene? Hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's likely that military might come from there. And the DSS, the military, they follow your program. They follow Houston, the Igbo's movement and everything. They saw him when he went to Bene. He went to Bene to pay homage to a traditional ruler, mm -hmm. to like, you know, harness you know it the relatives there but so i'm thinking they might start attacking from there very very possible all these are this governor senators that few maybe it doesn't concern them hmm. there might come a time when they will start attacking them hmm. very very possible okay so the best thing that we are supposed to do right now is to go on and around. So, so okay, go, I understand that. But when, when you look at the, you know, um, the kind of the statement, you know, from the DSS, and then you okay. weigh the situation, which they've confirmed that they were there. So we've been waiting, but yeah. now at least they've confirmed it. But what will you say to such a statement? What? what? What I'm trying to say is, you know the people that came, they were in military uniform, right? Mm. And they were speaking French. Yes. Please, can you tell me any other speak, uh, French speaking country so yeah. around us? Yeah. I, I got that. I got that part. I got that yeah. part. So, it's possible. And they sent, they just sent Buratai there. And they knew that. And uh, Yorubas are trying to like embrace their brothers and maybe form alliance mm. or whatever. Okay. All right. So they sent him there now. What the, when he gets there, he's not just going there to relax. He's All right. Going there to walk. Okay. He's going there to walk. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, because of the time constraint, 
uh, you know, that's why we have to go straight and take the next call as well. Uh, l let me say this. Um, we're looking at the, you know, the situation, you know, in the last uh, almost some few hours back. And now looking at the DSS statement and then parading, you know, the innocent Yorubas. These are Yorubas that, uh, you know, were picked up. These are not Yorubas, you know, that had armed, that were killing, you know, other Nigerians within the country. We have, you know, the terrorists marauding and killing so many people and nobody has said anything. But now, the question we're asking the DSS this morning, if they are listening to us, is why 72 hours before the Lagos State Mega Rally? What is the tone behind it? We knew that something was coming. But we could not emphasize how big or how magnitude it will be. Not that we are not, you know, knowing that uh, there might not be a kind of attack. We've had people say they're going to bomb the house from the top. They would do, and eventually they came now. And they came heavily guarded and they came heavily prepared as well. And if in Tonsonikwe they were able to find AK-47 in the house, they found, you know, you know a lot of uh, ammunition, they found, uh, you know, pump rifle. If those were truly in the house, how come those were not used against the DSS that came into the house? And eventually, two innocent Yorubas were killed right inside the house and their body has been dragged away. We don't even know where the body is as I speak to you right now. Hello, good morning, caller. Hello, Ekaro. Ekaro, sir. Yeah, I can record it too. Yeah, I don't know so that's the Edo State Bini City. It was okay. Yeah. Um Duri uh Kodo Shelly. I advise him about one thing for now. Because Maureen last time, I think that he did first day there when he UK. Then by Prime Minister UK, so that's the long distance. Ben. No, told the matter I know, but uh, so any statement on any P and so for one like Kumadi, Kuba Madi Gas Blues. Oh yeah. To do the tea episode. Yes. So I buy some phone or pono kumansi. They be ah new one or two things. They be only phone no. Latin she book mo kwa. Or pono pano tele pay juri juri she. Woman right act. Ah yeah, international woman right act. It's juri juri she. The UN. I don't mean tell the president. I don't mean. I don't mean. Can try now. Kama press Ojo kon Bubu ole su Koko risi di konon Ojo ojo kon ni koma di di la rin Kama press kama send message si mo Si no di en mo In kon don shele bay In kon ten di impe Jin shela ti Oru a oru ti kini et shele ni en Ok Bo a won ti mo mo To jewe international I mean prime minister Ati mo tenye o page di o Kama Kama press message si mo Bo picho With time They will come across this thing Ok And something will get done but we glad be the two power, social media power. To be bashing near sessions. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, disconnect. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, that is uh, somebody on Instagram. Thank you very much. Uh, we are putting so many information out, and uh, we hope some of you will be making use of it as well. But the, the focus tonight is the statement from the DSS, what they've said about multi background, they're completely mad. I know they saying. And likewise, the Lagos State mega, mega Rally goes ahead as planned. Um, we are also asking the DSS, where is the dead bodies of the two Yorubas that were killed inside that resident yesterday? Hello, good morning, caller. Yeah, good, um, uh, good, good afternoon, uh, good evening from here, yeah. from Nigeria, uh, from United States, uh, Texas. Good morning. Um, oh, good I'm just trying to, to contribute in one of those things. Go ahead. Because I'm uh, one of them, I'm experience, um, let me just add my book. That's fine. And professional in Nigeria. I'm trying to say, can you hear me? Okay, it was, it was going filter through, maybe you were so, changing something in, within your phone. Yeah, I'm a Yoruba guy. Okay. I'm an experienced military personnel. If I know what is going on and I know what can take place there before, 
I've been, I've been studying what is going on, but I don't want to say much, but I'm trying to see where it's going to allow. Do you know, if you remember, an incident happened in River State, whereby the DSS were going to go and arrest a woman before, without the concept of uh, the governor. What happened? DK blocked the road. Oh, yes, I remember. I remember. I remember, yes. I saw that video. Yeah. Wicked, wicked drove down to the woman's house. And yeah. stop that uh, arrest. Stop the yeah, you know we didn't see we didn't see yeah. the Mackin Day doing the same thing. To tell you that Mackin Day knows about what is happening. Yeah, they all don't want us to be up that in a nation. He, you know, he, loves he knows it. Okay. He knows about it. Most of those uh, leaders, they know, and it's time. I want to say something. It's time. They will pay for the pride. I promise you, they will pay mm. for the pride. Yeah. He has his children here. He has his children here in, in Houston. Yeah. Here. Let, let me let he me quickly one minute. Uh, a lot of you that keep asking if there was CCTV in the house. I mean, there can't be a bag a, a mansion like that without a CCTV. The CCTV oh, no. was I definitely know. in the house, and they were walking. I won't say more than that. Uh, go ahead, caller. So, what? Secondly, someone was saying about the military that went. Yeah, if you observe when um, Abangira was working, he works with both. He, he works with both the, uh, the international military and the foreign. As a, inside the military, we have what we call the suicide squad. They send them to eliminate their enemies. Trust me, those guys are military, and even they are being imported also because they are being trained. I know part of my guys also that are into the suicide squad there. Mm. We are trained outside. They came back to the country to carry out the assignment. Mm. But it's a dirty game. I know the job is not it. That I quit. Somebody is asking. So we have to go for smoke for smoke. Okay. When somebody is asking comes, on YouTube. What should, comes, what should we do now? What should we do now? Everybody heading back home. What should we do now? Under thirty seconds. Um. Yeah. What we're trying to do is that now. Uh, back. If everything we say, I'll, I'll text you. If okay. everything we're gonna say on the All right. Phone, that's fine. All right. Wise. All right. Thank you very much. I'll be expecting that text as well. Once again, good morning. If you're joining us, we are analyzing the DSS statement that came out. Uh, if you haven't read it, you Hello. can go online. It's already there for you to read. Hello, good morning, caller. Hello, Koi Kibaoje. I don't know if you're a caller. I don't know if you're a caller. I don't know Okay. I want to my mouth to be the security wire because mm -hmm. our people, it's a plan that a roll will be trailer. You know, speed trailer to my work, but I don't know which side will be coming through. Okay. So, boy, I'm a few more to the end of the issue on the road to any of me, more plan it to your security. Me. So, information to more connect it past me. Okay, I think on it, and we will be taking that, and I'm sure those watching will be taking note of that as well. Uh, let us remain uh, also to understand that Chief Sunday Bowo that was uh, put out according to the DSS label, giving all kind of names. How come the same DSS have not gone for the people that killed our loved ones at Igogon on the 6th of June, just as we were coming back from the mega rally in Ekiti? How come the DSS you know, he's saying uh, that, uh, you know, they believe, according to them, intelligent, that uh, Chief Sonic Bowo was stockpiling ammunition in his house. So will he be that stupid, you know, to have put, you know, ammunition in the house? I don't think so. So how come the DSS is putting out all these false allegations and now requesting Chief Sonic Bowo to report to the nearest police station? How come they have not been able to go after every single terrorist, ISWAP, Boko Haram, Fulanese, killing so many of us within the country called Location 419? These are the questions I'm asking this morning, and let's go straight to the next caller. Hello? Your life with us. Good morning. Good evening from your end. Good morning. Good, e good evening. How you, how you doing? Very good. I went to. Etoni eh? I come to Etoni now. Hello, Papa. Today, hello, Papa. I go to see our um. Our family, our daughter. Our family, our daughter. Very good. May God rest. May that soul be rest in peace. Amen. And we demand for that body. The rally, the I rally is not cancelled. Yes. I'm going to make something very short this evening because. Yeah. I plead on everybody, especially those people we, we, uh, that we are uh, uh, in diaspora, 
we need to look for a pause to contribute to repair every damage made in Sonny Bo's house. Please, I'm begging the entire diaspora, if you're watching, if you're listening, we need to support Sunday Bo that everything must be repaired. And I'm glad that there was a CCTV. And please, all those evidence must be hidden. Kalofi Pamo, a door. Then, I want DSS. One if I find the Bobo ammunition. So, we got to find it. If that was, if such ammunition was supposed to be dead, at least, what do you shoot? That is Takoto Wale. Why? Yeah, one of the two ammunition is this. And that's it, we are fools. We are not fools. What kind of propaganda is this? Hmm. If ammunition, if that ammunition was to be in that house, there would be a combat. There will be, there will be, it, will be, it will be, it will be a war zone with the kind of ammunition that they say they have. Oh, it would have been. Hey, 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 so they will find all that in the house and they will just go scot free. We know that they are lying. All these full and terrorist government. This, that is their plan and it will not work this time. Then uh, please, go begging. It should not allow anybody to lure him into going to any stupid police station, into going to see any CSS. It should not go anywhere. The last, the last, ta the last time, a, a, the last time I can remember, a, a letter was sent to Delegiwa. He was killed. We remember a car, a car reversed into Tolulu Parutile. He was, she was killed. Come and Barala, you should not do that. That would be a suicide. You should not even do that because I know they want to bring, they want, they want to bring him in. That's what they want to do. They Wafe, Wafe, invited so that he can come down and they can take him off. Let them go and arrest Gumi first. <laughs> when Jesus arrests Gumi, then we'll talk. We can't well, even talk anyway. All these people for crying out loud. Yeah. Like, yeah. All these people are in Janja. We don't call up when they can be tweaking our brain. I say, we, can't, we don't even know what we're doing anymore. I, I don't <laughs> understand. Who. Okay. Ah, and, we'll, and we demand for the body of the two people and we demand for the release of our people. The innocent people that were just walking, walking with Sunday Bow that mm. they, 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 they kidnapped. We want them and they should release them. What yeah. is all this? What is all this? All right. Thank you very much, my sister. I know I know how you know upset everyone have been been, but we need to also remain you know focused uh you know during the course of this uh you know uh, situation. The rally goes ahead as planned, uh, nothing has changed. Uh you know, whatever this commissioner of police is saying, Akpa Dewani, Ijo Rally ni Ojota, Buya Ulole Kuni. We are among your bala lekoni. I just feel you can't allow to buy the just Saturday. Hey, but they want it Saturday. Like by long. Hello, good morning, caller. Hello, brother. Hey, come on, show you too. How are you? Like by long. Hmm. More rusty, no leather tar on your. I can, Im I can, Im I can imagine. <laughs> now, regarding the updates, let's go down with the DSS. Yeah, that's what we are discussing. Hmm. So I don't know the legality, you know, behind their coming. Mm. But what I want us to do, brother, me, I put off you know, so really listen. Okay. What I want us to do is, we need to start talking to some very, very strong lawyers. Ni 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 Lati So we are find out. Okay. Our magic circle. Mm. A YouTube and the affirmation silua to come and represent him, if at all, mm. if at all, because what the DSS did was wrong. Hmm. If you invite somebody, if you want to invite somebody, or you want to arrest somebody, <laughs> if they are coming at the middle of the morning and start firing you heavy fire, fire, careless That's whoever was there, street bullet, I take my lo me to buy that way you said one year bossy if at all top and you bossy they have every right to protect themselves no i want to respect you why what it's one year born it's one marrow why do you have to lie all this thing that you were, were talking about these people then they the animals they're not gonna listen it's all it's all a plan work anyway we 72 hours before the mega rally i don't want to talk too much yeah Okay. I don't want us to talk too much. Okay. I don't want us to brag. Mm. I don't want us to, you know, e enough bragging. Mm. We need to start working on the ground from now on. All right. We need to start working on the ground and we need to start 
keeping our mouth shut and not put so much on online all right then. because a lot of a lot of our bloggers they just come up with those stupid stupid headlines things that are not happening things that is not going on they try to you know like instigate what two people against each other and that is not what we need as yoruba people we need each other all right uh, we I'm need as many friends as we can get like the only is on the boat always say we need each other whether we like it or not we can't continue to say oh uh, like bajawa involved that do involved i'm sure she might not know i don't i'm not a fan of any of our politicians or any of our others i don't mm. give a shit about them all right because but of because of time, time you know only mom or anything about it only the order from above so uh, we too we need to plan we need to make a lot of plans we need some um okay. human rights lawyers let's be all right to my fight case if you want okay all and right when we get those people involved we've already get international people involved Trust okay me, if we can get some very very high profile law firm from this part of the world to come down to nigeria to come and defend our case we've already involved international people all right then. Every eyes will be on that case. All right, my auntie. I'm, I'll I'll, I'll, I'll reach out to you. Uh, you know, tomorrow, my queen Lola. So we do a follow up uh, on that as well. I will call you tomorrow, and we can do a kind of follow up. I will. Please. I will call it's you very, tomorrow. Very I will. Thank I, you very much. I don't want us to be talking and talking. I know. And talking. I know. Enough. I know. Enough. All right. So okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. All right then. Okay. All right. That's fine. Now uh, you know. Well, that's that's what that's what the media does. Me will be bragging they yeah. don't they can't do nothing mm. why do we have to yeah. Yeah. So, so, I, I, in fact I'm, i cried i was just crying but what if god forbid what if uh, like uh, 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 we need, we, i got to let you go jagu, jagu oh, already go mine already pa it might be not me i got to let you go so that we can take more calls as well uh, uh, <laughs> uh okay to survive but eje ka se suru die ah ni pe lori eto yen but uh, all i can say is we're still Debating the you know the you know the statement from the DSS and that's what we are discussing. We have uh, someone else on the line. I say good morning from here. Um, you know, good morning from here, and welcome to the program. Yeah, hello. Can you hear me? Loud and clear. Yeah, in Kwatimo first, Sony P. Lack of combe in your country, Sony Pawan Bayan. Benny. Pawan Bayan go see Kongo. Because because I want to show on it by a bag and the Adams. I don't know what I can for. Or Benny M. or what that home upon she operates. That is why no one knows him more. Boom, she bow on that. So, can anybody might blame you if I can hear them so much? Okay. okay. So, along I shall not go. I mean, can you not be careful because. How many times? But I'm not I mean, I understand people say oh, go and sleep and all that. Two people didn't want to sleep. Two Eurobars were killed. Looking at the time now, it's about ten minutes past one a.m. Excuse me. And I can say to you, and I say thank you very much to my mom watching as well all the way back uh, in the UK. <coughs> uh, excuse me. Yesterday. Just 20 minutes, according to even the DSS, at about 1.34 a.m., Chief Sunday Bo's house was about to be attacked. So if you're looking at the time now, from the southwest, from where I'm reporting this morning, the time here says 13 minutes past one. People were sleeping. People were not aware they will be taken to Abuja. Ten innocent Yorubas. 
are now sleeping in the cell with no light, probably less food. But not just the 10, we also have two of them that got killed. This was the countdown to what become our conversation this morning. Oh yes, I can go back now and put my head somewhere and sleep. But two people have now gone to sleep and they will never, never wake up again. They still have wives, they have family, they have mothers, they have children. They will never wake up again. And the whole cause of that is because they believe in that movement called Yoruba Nation. The casualty could have been more, but I won't go into too much details. Somebody have to take the bullet for somebody. Oh yes, I might be tired, but let us at least, you know, say to those that died that will never wake up again. What you could hear, what you learn they will never be waking up again. I cannot wake them again. You cannot wake them again. And that is why we are saying that we must all now stand up. This is not the fight for Sip Sunday, but we alone. The DSS have come out now to label him as a criminal. And we all can come and speak. We all can type and put coming there. But what more should we be doing? You think about that. You don't have to ask me. People call all the time. Oh, we need to do this. We need to do that. You do it. Chief Sunday Bowo has done so much. His whole property has been damaged as I speak to you right now. Even though we still have people that have died, people that have been taken away. What more can he do? He has sacrificed everything he has. And we saw the result of that. So what will you be doing? Now that the DSS have confirmed that yes, our Gongola she kill a fish in your Yoruba, the bank party will do social media and kill a fish in this thing. That's what the DSS is telling us. She bent a good lane, kill a fish in this thing. You all sit down across the length and breadth of wherever you are. Have anybody start making an attempt to even go out just like Professor Ban Jackie advised us to do? Nobody was out yesterday. Everybody was sitting down somewhere within their confinement. Probably wants to go and take picture of the damaged building. When we should be heading to a laughing palace and demand the immediate release of the dead body and the immediate release of those that were taken away to Abuja. When we should be going to the KBC palace in, uh, in Ilefe and be demanding that we need to find out where the dead body of those two innocent Yorubas. Our Yoruba not by now. That should be our problem. 60 minutes past 1 a.m. There was just about 10 minutes more before Chip Sunday Ugbo's house was invaded last day. Two people got killed. Multiple people got injured. People got taken away. I now have people calling me, asking me where their loved ones are. And somebody's going to tell us we should go for another election in 2023. So even if I am tired, I need to stay awake and at least respect the dead until that hour come again, which is just about 10 minutes more from now. 10 minutes more from now, nobody knew that two people would be killed in that building. And you hear the DSS coming out and talking nonsense, thinking that we are stupid in 2021, thinking that we are fools. Let's take more calls. Hello, good morning. Hello. Hey, good morning. Yeah, good morning. Uh, Carl. Got in first one be a party and I got in the room. She one day got in my room. She be Sherry. Got to Sherry last time. The Kuara. I did share Kuara go far. I thought she thought she just got she campaign to do a nation. Tabau, Shelling got a go to Shelling Bay. 
All right. Thank you very much. Uh, you know, we we'll take the next call. Uh, once again, a very good morning. Uh, now it's coming up to 1.20 a.m. So in under 14 minutes, as at yesterday, two people' lives will be taken away. In under 14 minutes, as at yesterday, the whole house that you were looking at as a fancy, beautiful house was going to call into collapse because the DSS wanted to invade and kill one person inside the house. That was a family resident. That was a home. And they came to kill. And they eventually killed. Not just killed human beings. They also killed the cats, the animals that were inside the building. And even took away one thinking that that was Chief Sunday Bobo. That is the kind of, you know, system and the kind of country that we all live in. 1.20 a.m. Two innocent lives was about to be taken away as at yesterday. Hello, good morning. Hello. Good morning. Good evening from your side. Hey, Kabo, good evening. How are you? I do for long. Like I said, because most of us are expecting to Baba just I want people you go to borrow. At Nigeria, we are very, very, very accurate in doing something evil. We already told me target to one for one. I had nothing to buy fish. If you die, go send to Kowa to carry out successfully. Their mission to that man's place was just to eliminate him. I said, Papa, that Papa, me, go see excuse it anybody less of one. Okay, I'm in a new way. I thought I did that. Gee, the lawyer can't bear it. Go everybody to bought that. We don't even have to wait to Saturday. Oh, yeah, can't you bought a cat in my cat in my roots? Katiman <laughs> Phone and T. Eshedara Pomoa, 123 a.m. at exactly 130 
we will do a one minute silent for those that were killed and those that are still going through a very tough time for what took place yesterday. But one thing we need to remember as Yoruba people, this is not about Chief Sunday Bobo, but we must all now rally around him. And we must not leave him alone. Ija Bobo Mo Yoruba Lunja, Ija Yoruba Lodrofu. Just about seven minutes more, and then we do the one minute silence for those that got killed yesterday. But let's just quickly take maybe one more call before that time. Hello, caller. Hello. Hello. Hello, Ekaro, quickly. Ekaro. Yeah, I don't know who you will Saturday. <laughs> Len can see um, one twenty five after the one minute um, silence. I will then, uh, you know, wind down the broadcast and then we will continue with the more updates, uh, you know, from tomorrow. Uh, my name is Olayo Mikoiki. Uh, the DSS statement that was released yesterday could not prove anything than lies and propaganda and labeling. And by doing so now, it means, you know, they want us to as, you know, have it at the back of our mind that we have you know, a criminal element among the Yorubas like Chief Sunday Bowo. That is what they've done. By putting him out within the international community as somebody that is wanted. Whereas we have all these criminals moving around. Some of us still believe in one Nigeria, watching me right now. The question you need to ask yourself is, for how long must we have to suffer because we want to be one Nigeria? One Nigeria was created, my great in 1914, that we call the 1914 Amalgamation. And since then, there's never been peace inside that country you call one nigeria apart from so many atrocities and so many pains that we continue to feel and that pain also happened right inside someone we know very well these are people that we interact with oh yes we're gonna die one day but not to be forcefully killed by the DSS that is meant to protect the citizen. Coming in the middle of the night, were they coming to take him away for interrogation or were they coming down to kill him? And now that he was unable to be killed, oh yes, they have to come out and put out a kind of a statement to cover their house. And into realizing something will work away. Asikotito.
May the soul of those that died continue to rest in peace. The time is 128. This was almost the time that the whole incident happened yesterday. Some of you were probably just coming back from work. Some of you were already in bed. Some of you were about to go to bed. Some of you were just waking up. But 24 hours ago now, some of you have not even closed your eyes to sleep back again. Some of you have been going to the toilet. Some of you, the eye blood pressure has gone up. Some of you have been asking, could this be? One twenty-nine at exactly one thirty, we do the one minute silence and then I'm going to bring the show to an end. Let us continue to pray for not just the two individuals that died, but for the millions of Nigerians that are Yorubas, Igbo, even the Aousas that have been killed by the country called Nigeria. This is the time for us to say enough is enough and we must all come out in our numbers on Saturday and wherever we are across the globe. If you can't make it out tomorrow, you can also use that Saturday coming from every part of the world to decide oh yes people will say but oh yes but it will become nasty like i always say and let's take the one minute silent for those that was killed by the dss and the nigerian military and the federal government of nigeria One thirty-one. May the soul of those that died continue to rest in peace. My name is Olayo Mikoiki, and this is where we're going to put the program to an end. Uh, I will continue to update you, like I said uh, earlier before this update, that work is being done. You know, to get the release of those that were been taken away. Uh, we will continue to analyze. You know, the DSS statement again tomorrow. But all I can say is, Yoruba Masum. This is a time that we must all wake up if otherwise one day there might not be anything called yoruba again and if we don't want that every one of us must do whatever that we have to do you know to to make sure that we end it peacefully or it goes the other way around and i'm sure you know what that means i know at the back of my mind we would have to fight to get out of Nigeria. Have a very good morning. Let's play the anthem and I will close the broadcast.
Kasule o.